What's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Today I've got the second part of the first episode of Burial at Sea for you. And I hope you all will enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss when I upload. See you. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. No, what's that? Burial, let's see. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. Comfortable. Keep your eyes open. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. Dewitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. If it's all the same to you, let's leave it at Mr. Dewitt. Look up there. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Could be handy. A skyhook? Skyhook? You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind. Someone's coming! Out him on the hook this time! All right, I got the grabber unjammed.
Mr. DeWitt, look. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh, geez, I guess around 51? No, 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. But it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. Nose to the right! Mr. DeWitt, look. Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. <laughs> Burst pipe. The store sunk a few hundred feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. Good at places any to look for our new friend. It says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Uh, damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah. Our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. Just let me in, okay? Uh, Fontaine, he said we're all equal down here now. Uh, all in the same boat. I just want a touch. Uh,
Ryan, you bastard. Left me here to rot. Sure, I signed the contract. Helped turn Fontaine's into a prison. Ten days, big rush, everything slapped at. Right before the prisoners are brought in. What's One of your piece of shit sick. turrets. Bam! Both kneecaps. Now I'm likely a cripple locked in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! Same. Nothing beats your first splice. From there, it's all downhill. The frozen frosties, the jockeys who'll hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. It would be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. But once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her at them, they cut a less sympathetic figure.
Looks like the plasma department is back that way. I'm sure we'd find something useful there. This seems right up your alley. I'll see what I can do. All done. Why did Ryan lock up all of Fontaine's followers in a department store? He needed somewhere to put Fontaine's buttonman. Why not shut down the competition in the bargain? But I thought Andrew Ryan was all about free markets and open competition. All those ideas lose their luster when the quarterly earnings come in and you find the other guys eating your lunch. Either way, Fontaine's dead. Tells me all that cold isn't just coming from the ice rink. Frank Fontaine called me the other day. Me, Ray Lord. Passing out special plasmids to all his best guys. I mean, it, it, it's an honor, but man, I started getting these shingles all over. Skin's discolored. Like when a guy's about to lose a limb, you know? And I can't seem to pile on enough clothes. I hate to ask, but is this happening to everybody?
I say so. You got it. If anyone comes near that bottle without permission, is it dead? Drink every last bottle of Old Man Winter. I think I can help. Oh, what was that? It's a uh, new plasmid. Let's me, let's me bring in things that might exist, but uh, don't. I'm not sure I understand. What's it called? Tear. Where'd you find that? You don't expect a girl to share all her secrets, do you, Mr. DeWitt? Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. If we seek out the fight, perpetually, there may be no limits. All right. I know you're the client and all, but I've gone about far enough without a few answers. My purpose here is none of your concern. Consider me a means to an end. And why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? I told you I'm in collections. An account is in arrears. My clients simply want to see matters set to right. Don't make any sense, that's all. If you don't like the arrangement, the bathosphere's back that way.
Turn my paw! I'm off, sweetheart! Try the honey! Take a look at this. Come on, really? Give me something challenging. All done. Such a thrill to hear Ryan speak. Parasite, this. And the exaltation of man, that. Sure, it could get a bit of a bore. But the old bear sure knew how to enunciate. And live. This is part of the job. You owe me no explanation. She's just another orphan. After Fontaine went down, city was lousy. And? I don't know. You have a reason for every stupid thing you've ever done? She started showing up, looking peaked. you lose her. It's none of your business. 
about you. Doesn't sit right. Yes? Wouldn't peg you as the rapture type. Not even a little. If you mean I have no interest in joining the Andrew Ryan book club, you'd be right. Just another set of fanatics with a different set of books. I gamble. What? You asked me how I lost Sally. I gamble. Took her somewhere a kid's got no business being. I was winning. In a place like that, you don't let a kid out of your sight. But you did. Yeah, and here we are. But the million dollar question is, what's she to you? I have an interest in reuniting you with her. Isn't that reason enough? Let's hope Colin was on the level when he said this is where we'd find Sally. I can only imagine what they would do with a child in a place like this. Cohen's halfway to Splice Town. Probably thought putting a child in prison would be high art. The sooner we find her, the better. 